You can get NeoVim easily from their GitHub releases, but I prefer to use a package manager. Using a package manager means that you can keep NeoVim up to date, and keeping NeoVim up to date means that you can get the latest patches and features as soon as they come out. Some plugins also break frequently if you don't have the latest stable and or the nightly versions. I also like to build from the latest source and use it whenever possible, but some people may not have the package managers that support that. In that case, you can use the nightly versions if possible. NeoVim already has a guide on how to install it in their repo, so I suggest checking that out first if you want to go the traditional vanilla way. On Windows, you can use Scoop to install it. I prefer the NeoVim nightly package. If you're already not using Scoop, you should definitely check it out, since in my humble opinion, it's the best package manager for Windows. It's pretty easy to set up and I also have a bucket for Scoop that has some packages that's set up to use the latest source code. So you can check it out if you want. If you want me to upload a video about it and upload a video about a nice Linux night Set up for Windows, let me know and I'll probably make it. If you are on Linux, then I probably won't have to hold your hand. Now there are also a few tools that I would recommend you to install for, for a fully featured setup. Git. If you don't already have Git, what are you doing with your life? Install it right now. In short, Git is a version control tool. In gaming terms, it's a safe file system for your code. Most people, including me, use Git to manage our NeoVim config. RipGrep RipGrep is a command line alternative for grep written in Rust. It recursively searches the current directory for a regex pattern. By default, RipGrep will respect git ignore rules and will automatically skip hidden files slash directories and binary files. It has first class support for Windows, Mac OS and Linux, with binary downloads available for every release. RipGrep is similar to other popular search tools like the Silver Searcher, Ack and Grip. I also have a RipGrep package available in my scoop repo for Windows users. And it's also on the main scoop repos too. Some plugin that we're gonna talk about later can use it for fast, faster search results. FZF FZF is a general purpose command line fuzzy finder written in Go. It's an interactive filter program for any kind of lists, files, command history, processes, host names, bookmarks, git commits, etc. 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 It implements a fuzzy matching algorithm so you can quickly type in patterns with omitted characters and still get the results you want. While my new Vim config doesn't interact with FZF, it's still nice to have. A terminal file manager. NeoVim is a terminal application and unless you're either using a graphical client like NeoVite or a shell wizard that only needs CD, LS and MKDIR, you're, you probably want a terminal file manager too for some easy access to your files without having to leave your terminal. I use Yazi. It's a terminal file manager written in Rust based on non-blocking async IO. It aims to provide an efficient, user-friendly and customizable file management experience. I use it as a backup file manager in my NeoVim config and I also use it as my default file manager in my system. Yes, I don't have a graphical file manager. It's bloat. A UI for Git. Now, some of you in chat may cringe at the fact that I'm talking about a front end for Git. But let's face it, it's sometimes more peaceful. If you don't know Git, then avoid this step at first. You need to know the basics first. This series is about learning stuff not getting the job done. Learn Git first, then use a Git frontend. Anyways, enough yapping. I use lazy Git as my Git frontend. It's written in Go, 
and I also have a package for it in my school people. There are alternatives for this though. Some people use Vim Fugitive for NeoVim, but I use LazyGit because it just works outside of NeoVim too. A compiler that can build C code. Now, even if you're planning to use NeoVim for only writing stuff like Python, a compiler that can build C code like GCC or Clang will be needed for some plugins that we're gonna talk about later. For Windows, it's pretty easy to set up using Scoop. A nice terminal setup. If you don't already have a nice terminal setup, then you should do it. The terminal is a place that we're gonna be spending most of our time when using NeoVim. A nice terminal setup with a nice shell setup can sometimes be more productive and better than most fancy GUI IDs. I won't discuss how to set up that stuff in this video, but I will quickly go over my setup. On Linux, I use Kitty as my terminal, ZSH as my shell, with Z in it as its plugin manager. I use these ZSH plugins, FZF tab, ZSH auto suggestions, ZSH syntax highlighting, ZSH auto pair. I also have some of my custom scripts and whenever I start my terminal, it always runs tmux first. I use tpm for the plugin manager with these plugins. Tmux which key, Tmux power line, Tmux flows. On Windows, I use a Windows terminal preview with a CMD plus clink setup and I use scoops git package and add the binaries to my path. If you're interested in more, you can check out my github for my dot files. You can also let me know if you want me to show how to set up the stuff and how some of the stuff works. This will be all for this video and I'll see you folks on the next one.